Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you meet my patient who has a deep-seated corn on the tip of a toe. This is caused by a hammer toe where the tip of the toe is hitting the ground to cause a corn to form. Let's see how I can help him. Okay, we have John here. Hi, John. I'm sorry? How are you doing today? Well, so far, so good. Okay. <laughs> so John's uh, here to get his nail taken care of, but you can see this, um, we call it distal corn. This is a very common problem. He's got a toe that's coming down a little bit, and then it's hitting the tip of the toe, but there's no padding. He should be walking here, but he's walking here, so he's getting the corn here. And then the stick nail is not helping either. So is this pretty painful here, John? No. Not that bad? No. He's a tough guy anyways, right? No. <laughs> Nothing bothers you. Nothing bothers John, right? Well. He's the easiest going guy. I'm sure you would find out real quick. <laughs> <laughs> no, but he's, John's a very uh, cool guy. He doesn't, not many things bother you in your life, right? Uh, after what you see at work a number of years, why, well, you know, things just kind of roll off you. Yeah, whatever. It's kind of whatever thing, right? Yeah. Yeah, he's a really easy going guy. Nothing bothers him. The old phrase, determine what you can do something about and do it. If you can't, try to forget it. Try to forget it. Yeah. That's a good philosophy. I try to do that, but uh, it's not working for me. It doesn't always work, no. Uh, that's true. Yeah, especially me. It doesn't work for me. I'm a pretty high-strung guy, you know. So I give you 10% off, okay? You don't have the nail here. Oh, I appreciate that. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So this thing is really thick here and then we're gonna cut it and grind it and make it look nice today this is a very common problem because a lot of people have what we call a hammer toe uh -huh. and then the tip of the toe doesn't have a whole lot of padding so you're sitting literally walking on that tip of the toe and that's why you're causing this cows to form and then that's what makes this nail to be really really thick and brittle because all the pressure is going right to the area so will cutting the tendon cause that to straighten out yeah when we do a simple surgery to lengthen this tendon and then it, the toes will sit like that then you won't have this corn anymore to lengthen but, or cut or uh we, we cut it and that lengthens on its own oh okay yeah so it, it works pretty well it's literally five minute surgery and i've been doing that for many many years and helped a lot of people and it's a very quick um, surgery and it's very little recovery so people were able to go back to doing what they were doing within within a week or so so it's been life-saving for a lot of patients so it's within pretty, a week huh? yeah within a week just one quick suture and that's it wow. so yeah people did really well with this uh, particular we call a minimum incision surgery when I inherited when I bought the practice 30 some years ago this doctor who I bought the practice from he was a world-renowned minimum incision surgeon, and he taught me how to do these very, um, very great surgeries, like uh, without too much time, time off for the patient, and really quick recovery. So, uh -huh. yeah, these are called minimum incision surgery, and it's actually it's started to come back. A lot of people are doing that same procedure now because it's quick recovery. You know, people don't have time to recover, so. That's something may be able to help you, but this doesn't bother you too much, so right? Uh, no, it just could, it's a continual comeback kind of thing, you know. Exactly. Recurrent. So, yeah. So if you do that surgery, then you won't have this problem anymore. So that's something to think about. Hi, it's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word "corn" on the tip in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I will. Yeah, it's it's quick and very easy, so. So how long have you been retired now, John? Uh, 21, almost 22 years. Oh, really? Wow, you've been retired a long time. Yeah. You were with the police department, right? Kelly County Sheriff. Oh, Sheriff's Department. Yeah. Wow. Oh, really? Were you a patroller? Yeah. Oh, you were? Yeah. Wow. 
Was there a lot of um, chasing that uh, that went on back then? You know all the chases, car chases and all that? Oh, yeah. You Somebody did? asked me one time how many pursuits did you and I just kind of laughed. I could count them after about six years. Really? <laughs> yeah. Was really? That's pretty, a lot more common, huh? I chased some Ford Pinto, it must have been about 10 miles before he finally pulled over. Really? Ran stop signs, I had to slow down to the stop signs, I didn't want to run through them. Right. And uh, this 10 year old boy with him, so in addition to it, oh, really? and, and, and I took him to the child and moved him in. Oh, really? That's not the way to treat the 10 year old son. No. <clears throat> what was he running from? He didn't want me to hit he was like going somewhere. Oh, really? No real good reason, you know. And he decided to just run? Yeah. He thought he was going to get away? Well, there was, there was talk that they were going to put a lot of pursuits for a while back then, you know, or they were going to minimize them. Uh -huh. you know, I think you heard too much of that. Not enough about what was really going on. Wow. Was there, sometimes did they, did they get away? I had one guy get away temporarily. Uh huh. So you found them? And you don't just found them. Oh, really? Somebody called, there's, there's a T intersection, and on the other side, the top side of the T intersection, a big field. Uh -huh. And the car we were chasing came out, went around the corner, straight through this T intersection, hit a telephone uh -huh. pole, it was like a barricade there, it wasn't a barricade. But it was oh, a really? He went airborne, launched himself into the field someplace. We didn't know he was out there, so we kept on driving around looking for him, couldn't find him. Some neighbor called and said, there's groaning coming out from in that field. Really? <laughs> so we called an ambulance and went out there and the ambulance looked at him found him. Really? Was he hurt? No. He was drunk. He was drunk. Oh, he was drunk. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's crazy. All right. So we got that pretty good. Let's go a little bit more down here. Huh? So in another couple of months, it'll be built up again, right? I would expect so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, so. What's the surgery like that cost? Oh, your insurance is covered. Oh, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. It, yeah, these are called hematoma surgeries. Yeah, it's covered by your insurance. It's really quick. It's something to think about. Okay. Well, very good, John. Thanks for allowing us to film you today. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for watching this video. When someone has a hammer toe, it is not hitting the ground with the bottom of the toe, instead it is hitting the tip of the toe. This causes a deep, painful corn on the tip of the toe. A simple surgery can fix the problem permanently to straight out the toe. Until then, be educated, be empowered, encourage others today.